Emily's still lying in bed, eh? Girl, little girl's safe in her bed. And Emily's a bit, bit ill with the fever. Murder, execution, jailbreak, betrayal, and now kidnapping. This last link in the long chain of a sad little, uh, sad fate lit a fire in Joe's hand, and the chance to turn it all around, right here, all around in this room. I'm getting a strange premonition. Uh, everything that happened so far tonight <laughs> has related back to me in some way, and I bet this mistaken, ridden abduction does too. So about the yarns. Ooh, all right. It's time to save. Chapter 13. Yeah, what time? What time does dawn start? I visit the novelist's apartment again. I'm hoping to able to do something about this mistaken identity kidnapping. As long as there are any possibilities that I could be his own daughter who was kidnapped, I doubt the justice minister will call off the execution tonight. The key to dispelling the minister's doubts is now in bed coughing. All I need to uh, to use this key, and I need to use this key before that prison van arrives to pick up our death row inmate. Alright. The one hand type. That's on the natural typewriter as well, so. One mistake is GG's from there. Very impressive. A darling angel. Oh, just listen to that cough. You know, little, uh, you know, little thing. <laughs> you know, a thing. Did you leave your nice warm bed to go out into the night to play? Not after my own heart, but I must confess, I didn't even notice you were gone. Wait, did she like actually leave? What? I didn't go out to play. I went to buy Papa a birthday present. Oh. He said he wanted a new lighter. But that's no reason to go out this. Damn, she actually went this night. My fever finally went down. I could barely move before that. But look what it brought you. Your fever is worse now than ever. It is to the feverish passion of my da darling angel. Saved. We saved that one. Mama? Yes, darling? Let's call Papa and wish him a happy birthday, even though it's already past midnight. Not tonight, Emily. Come on. What, is what happened? I hate you. Oh. Looks like the little girl was safe all along. I already knew that, but I'm still relieved all the same. Yeah, she actually went out. Another lucky development. She wants to call her father. Now, if I can make use of that feeling somehow, I'll surely bring the Justice Minister. Light the fucking... You know what we're gonna do. Light that shit. Here you go, Emily. She noticed. Quickly, Emily, quickly, dialed in the numbers. It's a, it's a rotary phone, goddammit. Emily, I told him you couldn't call him tonight. Why not? Listen to me, Emily. Your father's about to make a big mistake. I want him to reconsider. But you know about it, Mama. He's the one who's the justice minister, you know? All you do is write weird novels. What do you mean, weird? How dare you uh, disparage my romantic expressions? Now you really made me angry. You really have. You can, man, her hair has turned into like a, like a flower. Like a cat. Ca ca Alright. I was gonna say a, a carnivorous plant, but. Alright, how do you expect me to forgive such an insult? An insult. Alright, the, the hair's back. Oh, it's on the top now. GG's. Emily's, you know, in despair. Not like this. I hate you. Yo, what is wrong with this family? Oh, she brought it closer. There. I'll be keeping my eye on you so you won't do anything else mischievous. Like calling your father. I hate you. I hate you. 
I can hear you now. Yeah, I mean. Well, that was my plan. Oh, what a pair. I don't know what these family issues are, but I do know I have to do something about this lady, so Emily, call. Knock her out. Swing harder. Oh, there's a rat. Rats, rats, we are the rats. Oh my god, are we gonna kill her? Is that. <laughs> what is happening here? That's the main question. I can't move the hoist, can't move the chandelier. What does the valve do here? Nothing. Okay, the rat's here. Swing harder. Let's see where this rat goes. Okay. And yeah, maybe we chime in. Make a chime. Deluxe. Well, well. Having a good time, are we, little rodent? Sweet dreams. Do you fancy the vintage? <laughs> Did you fancy the vintage, my whiskered friend? Hasta luego, amigo. Alright, so the rat's up there. Poor thing getting smacked. No tomorrow. Yeah, she's more powerful than I thought. Oh, it looks like she tipped the wall candelabra. There we go. To one side too. They angled those candles. I get a feeling I've seen something very similar to that quite recently. Yeah. He's right about that. Oh god, I killed the rat. Holy shit. Oh, I actually saw it circuit the... Oh heavens, a blackout at a critical time like this. Of course, dim lights suit my story of love very well, but... I myself... My... <laughs> I'm not very fond of the dark. He's down. I'm slow. I, why do I slow my words, guys? I'm never gonna fix that. Oh, emergency light? Oh no, here we go. This channel just narrowly missed the back of my head. Oh, so close. I love the thrill of romance, but I don't need these kind of thrills, thank you. Are we actually gonna, like, knock her out? Oh, yeah. The ass. Light. Friction. Excuse me? What? Did she- What? Did she just put the match in her fucking wine? Isn't there a matchstick in her wine, if that's the case? What? She's gonna be drinking like the ash. Oh, what a wonderful atmosphere. Perfect for a clandestine meeting in the dis- I'm pretty sure I've botched that word up. Alright, the rat is dead. I'm sorry, bro. Right. I don't exactly know how the situation came about, but I think I owe the right to apology. But it seems to be unconscious. Alright, that's fine then. But now the room has changed a bit. Maybe I could use this somehow. Yeah, uh, dictionary. Crank. I don't think I can get over there, so... What does the crank do? Go down? Are we gonna, like, actually hit it on the head with this? What a naughty chandelier. Alright, I see. But if the she's in the middle, smack. Now! Oh! Such insolence. I'm gonna do it again. Right behind her. See, yeah, she's good. She's good. I don't think that's the case then. He's got some moves, I'm not gonna lie. Give her that, I'll give her that. That's twice she managed to dodge like that. Who knew she was a dodging ch champion? I'm starting to get annoyed. Again. Third time, do we do it again? Do it again. I don't think that's the case. Okay, how about turn on the lamp here? Yeah. 
Mm, that's a good question. Do I smack her again? Elida. Right. Is it insolence or isolation? Whatever, I'll look it up tomorrow. Can I get over to the other side? I got the book. Uh, what do I do here? Lady's Dictionary. Wasn't this on her desk before? Poor thing destined to never to be returned to the bookshelves. Yeah. Burn brighter. I'm gonna hit her then. There's nothing we can do here. What's the... What's the play here? Alright, hold up. I'm spamming. Alright. I didn't do it. Why did it not go brighter? What's the point of it going brighter? Is it doing it? Why is it not going? All right, here we go. Yeah, then go down. Nope. Wasn't the play. Now I should wait till she sits her ass down. I can't reach over there. Alright, hold on. this pendulum. I guess that's not the play. Chime? Alright, okay. As I bask in my tale of love, time has been moving on at the speed of light. Is that it? So even though she's immersed in love, she can still hear this, eh? But this won't buy enough time for Adele to make a phone call. There must be something else I could distract her. Right? The only thing I've got is this. This latch. This burn bright. That's not it. Yeah. Can't reach. All right. Hold up. That's not. Why is it not working? What the fuck, dude? I think I feel like I have to do something on the right side. I don't think anything here is good.
All right, here we go. I'm gonna immediately do it again. Oh. He actually got her. Emily, Emily, help me. Oh, I did. I, I never thought this would happen. Alright. I was just like spamming it. Alright, mama. Can't do shit. Oh, she's feeling a bit faint. I'm oh, sorry, mama. I'm too dizzy. I can't get up. I'm afraid I can help you right now. Ah, 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 here is to the weakness of my darling angel. Oh, at least you can still do that, apparently. I channel is on. They're tighter than her wedding band. Damn. Won't be able to escape on her own. Alright, this is this is my chance. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey Emily. You didn't like the dark. Alright, it's not putting I know. Uh, I don't even know. Set it on fire? Alright, apparently not. That's not the answer. Yeah, what the fuck do I do here? Lighter? Nope. Chime? Is she knocked out? Swing harder? Huh. Well, what is going on here? Good question. Oh, right. Wait, wait, wait. What happened if I do this? Oh, God. I'm taking her up. What? What is going on here? Emily, look, do you see this? Help me, please. Oh, sorry, I'm too sick. I can't get out of bed. My head is spinning. I guess you just have to stay up there spinning too. Alright, alright. What's next? The finishing blow. Good night. What, are we actually gonna, like, knock her out or something? What if I... Be oh, what if I do this? Oh, I'm, she's, she's, what? What's going on? The rat's on fire. Oh my god. What, what, what a fucking... Okay, now I really owe that part around an apology. This, yeah, this might be the best chance we've got. Swing, here we go, the play-by-play. -play. Man, the rat's tail's on fire, poor guy. Well, the light's on. Mama. What in the world is going on here? This is your chance, Emily. Make the call. That's alright. Man, what a mess. Oh, goody. Excuse me a minute while I call Papa, okay, Mama? It'll only be a minute. It'll only be a minute. It'll be only- what? What was it? What did I just say? Don't you dare, Emily. I won't have it! Nice. Hello, Papa? La gasp. Emily! Is that you? Possibly, so what do you think? I heard they said you were. Oh, never mind, it's nothing. Hello, old Papa. Happy birthday, Papa. Birthday, alright. It was my birthday today, wasn't it? Or yesterday. So we can celebrate today. Thanks to mean old mama. Oh, you, you're, you're mean old mama. I mean, your mother. What is she up to right now? Well, she's certainly up, alright. My stubborn mother is kind of tied up at the moment. Get me down. <laughs> it needs to be taught a lesson for causing us so much trouble. No, Emily. I'm the one who was wrong. Alright, here we go. Huh? Did you tell your mother I'm sorry? What do you have to be sorry about? I was just about to make a terrible mistake. It's alright now. Oh, he's changed. Resolve. It's strong. You're still young. There's a lot I can tell. I can't tell you right now. The job of the justice minister is very complicated. You say. Okay. You just remember, you're always the most important thing to your mother and me. 
Did you do something naughty to mother? If you did, I want you to apologize. I don't think I did anything, but okay, I'll apologize. That's a good girl. Okay, Papa. Have a good night, well, love you. Love you too, Emily. Good night, sweetheart. Here we go. Here we go. How are we gonna get her down? That's the million dollar question. Uh, Mama? I'm sorry. My goodness, why the sudden change? I guess I was wrong about you, I didn't understand. Oh, Emily. That's all you ever did was write these weird novels. That makes me a little sad. Papa said the job of Justice Minister was complicated. Yes, your father's job is very, very complicated and difficult. And that's why I couldn't talk to you about most of it. But you're right, I shouldn't treat you like such a little girl anymore. You're growing up after all. I promise to stop calling your novels weird and try actually reading them. What? Oh, uh, maybe you better wait until you're a little older for that. Oh, okay. Emily, if you're feeling a little more charitable toward your own mother, do you think you can let me down? No, I would love to do that, but I'm feeling too dizzy and sick right now. He's out. Tonight on this holiest of nights, my deadline. It looks like the only thing pressing on me will be this chandelier. Here's to Papa and Mama's darling angel. I was going to say daring again. Can she slide through? All of a sudden, everybody's getting along again. It's such an abrupt change. I can't understand it. Is this what family is all about? This is what is it? I, I I used to do so, uh, sociology for my A levels, and there was a thing called an empty shell relationship, where the love is not there in a family, and they're they're only doing it because you know maybe they've got a kid or something like that. But yeah, I think that happens a lot. In families, the empty shell relationship. My empty shell family. The minister's family now has their smiles and family back, but this doesn't seem seem like it. This might be just a one-off uh, dispute, it looks like. Maybe. <laughs> but Camilla is still in the hands of the kidnappers. All right, back to just this minister's office. All right, he's changed. Surprising the, the minister's brow is still as furrowed as ever. Quite unlike a father who has just learned his daughter is safe, he seems to still be in the depths of despair. The atmosphere in this room is very different now. It seems to have an air of unfocused anxiety. I get the feeling something big is going to happen. Alright, alright. I just found out my daughter is safe. I'd like to express my gratitude. Thank you. Thank you for my daughter's sake and for mine. No need to thank us, Mr. Minster. It was nothing. What did he do? <laughs> yeah. He do shit. But one question. I can't help but notice. Your daughter is safe. And yet you still look unhappy. How about a little smile for her? Ah. Uh, of course. This is still the man of the other kidnapping victim. But is that really the only thing that troubles you, Mr. Minister? I was saying Mr. The minister. Alright, what's happened? Let me think in peace until the police van arrives. I'm guessing the execution he's doing? Alright, let's get into his head. Let's see what's happening. Hello, Justice Minister. How about you finally admit I do exist? That thank you I express. That was meant for you. You're a ghost, aren't you? And you have the power to control many people, don't you? No, I don't have that kind of power. I can't control you. Well, actually... We've actually known... Wait, wait, wait. We've actually known, you know, for quite a while now. But I have no idea there were the powers of the dead, of ghosts. Known? Known about what? We knew about the existence of somebody who could control others, a manipulator. What's this? That's why your execution order caused me so much anguish, Detective Joe. Mr. Minister, why don't you tell us everything you know? Alright, the manipulator. I think you need to hear it all. All about the huge mistake this foolish man made. Alright, let's see. There are such, some cases in the country right now that are under a top secret investigation. Of course, you wouldn't have known about them, Detective Joe. Right, they don't share too much top secret information with the inmates in prison. There are uh, three prisoners, including you in the special prison you just escaped from. All three cases have certain points in common. They do, do they? Tell us more. Alright, this guy. The rock singer who leaked national secrets in his lyrics during a live TV broadcast. The curry man who just walked up. Yeah, the curry loving fellow who took the chief commissioner's uh, hostage at the Metro Police Department. Neither of those men had a motive 
for their crime, and both of their crimes were impossible. Impossible. Like, how do they know? Yeah, had no, uh, no way of knowing how to intrave intra infiltrate the commissioner's office. And the Rocksinger had no way of knowing the national secrets would be leaked. Special investigation unit submitted an inves investigation report to me on them. They concluded that these men, uh, men's criminal acts were not of their own violation. But how could that be? The theory the unit came up with the power of, came up with was the existence of a manipulator. Now I'm just like stumbling everywhere. A manipulator, huh? It was when the special prison was established as a facility to research that theory. Alright. Some unknown power has been at work. These past several years, Inspector Cabanella has been studying these cases. He has, has he? Manipulating somebody in committing a criminal act, according to the inspector. First case of its kind was a locked room murder involving our nation's best detective. Are you trying to say I was manipulated somehow into shooting Alma? I appreciate the theory, but unfortunately, I don't recall being controlled by anybody. It's not just not impossible to manipulate others' behaviors like that. Yeah, it doesn't work on living creatures, only inanimate. That's what I thought when I first heard the theory too. However, I was seriously mistaken, and it proved to be a big mistake. What? All right. Here we go. The mist. What's the mistake? You mentioned mistake. Could you tell us about it? I suppose everybody here has the right to know. Alright, fine. I'll speak out loud so uh, that Inspector Cabanel can hear this too. Alright. Going out, we're going out here. Damn. Hands behind the back. There's something I'd like to, uh, the two of you to hear. It's about a mistake I made. Inspector Cabanella, when you first made that report about a manipulator, I'm afraid I didn't believe it at all. Impossible, I thought. Perfectly understandable, Mr. Minister, but I was wrong. That kind of power does exist, and I... I learned the truth of that firsthand. What's this? A month ago, I signed the order to carry out Detective Joe's execution. However, that act wasn't of my own violation. I was being controlled. Whoa. What? You never told me about this, Mr. Minister. What, this one? Somebody actually controls living object. Like living uh oh. Actually has happened. Go on, this document. What am I doing? No, I mustn't. Sign it. Damn, he's using all his strength. Oh damn. Actually got his signature down pat. happening here. Wait, don't deliver that document. Oh my god. Does that soldier not know that the man shaking? That's when it started. That's when all my fear, despair and suffering began. Alright. Uh, I don't know why we're going here here, but I oh know we're going out. At the time, it didn't even cross my mind that I had been manipulated, and my memory of the event was only hazy at best. Alright, so memories of being manipulated doesn't clearly remain, eh? Signing execution orders as part of the minister's justice minister's job. Alright, then I've, I kind of skipped that part, but I just thought my psyche, uh, the psyche, psyche? Uh, was rebelling against the task. Is it a psyche or psyche? I think it's, I don't know. But the next day it dawned on me. I remember Inspector Cabanero's report on the existence of a manipulator. Alright, damn. Damn, we need a drink, man. As a minister just uh, couldn't admit what had happened to me. I'm a realist. Oh. I only signed the execution order because I was being controlled. If something like that got out. This nation's judi uh, judicial system. Crumble. Is, that how, <laughs> is that how you say it? Besides, I had no evidence to present that I had actually been controlled. So in the end, I couldn't admit to anybody what had happened. Oh, I suppose, but it sound, <laughs> sounds a bit like an excuse. You should have at least told us, Mr. Minister. Um, yes, yes, I know. I should have. I was running away from the problem. Oh, who's the guy, man? Oh, what's happened here? And then my wife found out I was worried about something. 
Well, if you go around with this question like that, I guess it's bound to happen. I explained to her, and she was dead set against the way I was handling it. And the wife. If you don't withdraw that order and tell everyone the truth immediately, I'm moving out. Oh, so that's what happened. I guess the, we found out the true divide here. Yeah. Then, with the kidnapping tonight, with a thrust under my nose like that, I could no, no longer deny my mistake. Fuck, dude. We still haven't seen the, the those two bad guys right yet. This manipulator comes upon us from somewhere unseen. That's why I've been keeping my distance from everybody. So that's why you've been telling people to stay back. Alright, oh, yeah, that makes sense. If there's somebody else besides me with the powers of the dead. I'm fine with that. After all, I already knew about a certain desk lamp. What I'm not fine is that the fact that the people uh, that person control and manipulate living creatures. That's certainly not something I can do. Apparently different ghosts get different ghost tricks. Right, this is the end of the chapter, it looks like. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> never mind. But I imagine, never imagine that tonight. I will find out that uh, where this kind of power comes from. Where does it come from? Powers of the dead, young lad. Inspector Cabanella. This manipulator is a ghost, a departed spirit. Spirit? As a matter of fact, there's a ghost talking to us right now. What? What do you say? Damn. That kind of <laughs> screwed the emulator a bit. Joe, don't tell her you can hear this ghost too. Oh, I don't know, Carbonello, you little shit. I say the only person who can hear him is you. Spirit, ghost, gods in heaven. Excuse me, Mr. Mister. I suddenly have some urgent business to attend to. I recommend you think long and hard before making your final decision, sir. Yo, where's it going? Yo, Inspector. Uh oh, come now, sus man. Oh, this is Lynn. I'm at the park. We've been waiting for, to hear. Have you found the evidence? Well, uh, the situation here is kind of difficult to explain. Just if you dare come to the park immediately. All right. All right. So that's all good there. Damn. I like how we <laughs> like everyone knows. Pretty much everyone here has known that uh, Sissel exists. Yep, yeah, the help is needed, Cecil. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Quick time. Goodbye! Away I go! Uh, to the park, I believe. I think this is the place. This is the dreaded place. Alright, here we go. Lynn calls and I oblige. I take off towards Temsky Park, a place where Clearly, something big is taking place. Manipulator. A person whose very existence sheds new light on everything. Detect the Jode's crime, the execution orders, and even my own death. Could it be? Could Lin have been manipulated into shooting me? Oh. Could be, could be. You know, that might be true. That might be true. I don't think so. I feel like she did shoot me. But I told her or something? Maybe I got manipulated. Hemsky Park, the site of little lady Camilla's abduction tonight. And the place where, upon a piece of evidence, the music box was hidden. I hope we can squeeze in another chapter. I'm like on the edge of my seat here. Oh, there's the chicken kitchen guy. I wonder why a lady detective looking so de 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 dejected. At least she isn't dead, but what did she find? Is it gone? I have to get my ass there. That's the that's the best plan. Why? The, all right. Huh? What's he doing here? Yeah. What is he doing? Let me spend a moment of time with you, my love. Wait, is his nose like a chicken? Oh boy, I didn't notice that. That's pretty. That's pretty funny. A little late. It's already cold. I don't like how his nose moves, though. Can't get there. Oh. Nice. Swing harder. Bye, chef. Pasta la vista, baby. Oh my god, what the fuck's going on here?
Uh, spin, I guess. Oh, right, Jesus Christ. Man, I have to get my ass over here. Alright, hello, Lynn. Oh, I see someone dead. <laughs> Someone's dead. Are you dead, Cecil? From your detective expression, I gather you didn't find what you were you were looking for. Right, could find the music box anywhere, but I found something else instead. Something horrible. Horrible. What is it? There, in the grass. You better see for yourself. I'm pretty sure this is the park's guardian. Looks like a dead body, and he died when I saw it. I suppose now that we've found it, we can't just leave it there, can we? Suppose not. Let's see if we could, uh, whoops, no. Alright, let's connect. Yeah, this looks like... Stop the park from being- Stop the park from being turned into a housing site. Protect the park, the rocks of the gods. You there. You're talking to me, aren't you? I have some leaflets for you. Leaflets, I know. Uh, you'll be very interested in. I urge you to pursue... It thoroughly. Examine in detail. Never mind that right now. Do you remember your name? My name. My name. Uh, what does my name matter? When thing these that <laughs> God damn it. When there are more important things to worry about. Okay. This guy's office rocker. Come on now and study these tracks with me, my brother. The rocks of gods with me. The night's no longer young. As a matter of fact, daybreak is approaching. But we are young. Look, I don't have time to get involved in your way of life. I am interested in your way of death. Let me go back four minutes. Boy, you're deaf. You know how it is. Will Smith hit it? It's rewind time. How do you die? At least he died. At least the body's still, you know, still fresh. So I made up my mind. I resolved to live here in this park and defend it. And um, what does that have to do with this rock of gods you mentioned? This is a homeless man. It's been quite clearly in the fourth leaf in great deal. I have to use the restroom. Excuse me, sir. How do you die? Eek. Oh, it's Camilla. Oh, God. Don't tell me you got wrecked by the small guy. I'm coming. Damn. Just hold on. Why is he going... Oh, don't tell me he just... Yeah, let's see how he died. Locate the target beauty, a girl of the right age coming out of the right apartment building at the right time. Alright, that makes sense now. But that's how he got all the stuff. Yes, my dear, I ever so gently nab her. And come back, right back to your side. Alright, that's his bike, yeah. In the trunk, lady. Good evening, young lady. Would you, won't you <laughs> come with me? Eek! The big eek. Come on, do something, man. Oh, gods, what do I do? What should I do? I have to do something. I bet she just dies for no reason. Alright, there it goes. Oh. Wait, this is where. Uh oh. What in the world? What just happened? Yeah, somebody manipulated. Oh, that's Mino. Mino? Mino the mascot, the symbol of Temsky Park. Forget about the name of that big, creepy lump of concrete. What's all about the way it changed direction? Did you see that? Oh, yes, yes, I did. We witnessed it with our own eyes. The power of the Rock of the Gods. That was the power of the gods. The power of the gods saved that little girl. And then that same power very deliberately crushed you instead. Yes, yes, precisely. That is called the mischief of the gods. Was it the mischief of the gods, or was it a ghost trick? But nah, it couldn't have been a ghost trick. No ghost trick could change the direction of something that heavy in midair, that's true. But what if there was something with much greater powers than me? That's also true. How are we going to prevent this? Hello? How the fuck do I do this? Uh, she got pushed. Uh, what the fuck do I do? There's another flame besides mine. Oh, so this is the flame of the gods, is it? But hold on. The spirit is a flame too, is it? Yeah, so? Uh, pardon me, but... Are you a god? I sincerely doubt it. 
the last minute that a big lump of concrete made a huge swing to one side. It was probably that flames doing. It could it be? Can I talk to him? <laughs> I definitely believe it's either God or somebody God related. Uh, maybe I tried talking to that person. I don't, th I don't think so. I don't think that worked, but let's see. What the? Person with much greater powers than me. It's... It's... You? Hey! Sissel! Oh my, it's... Missile. Alright, uh, you look well for being dead. You see? Did you see what I did? I did it. I tried really hard and I did it. I saved Miss Camilla. Are you telling me it was <laughs> I was done in by a puppy dog? Missile, what enough? How did you get the powers of the dead? I'm glad you asked. Don't tell me he d he's dead. After Miss Camilla went out and you left. Yeah, he kept running into the door. I worked like crazy, I make my own path, and I did it. What? He actually killed himself. Oh no, he actually opened the door. Yeah, but why is he... And then I followed Miss Camilla out into the big wide world. Alright, we've got the happy music, but... Alright, then here at this, this park, I found her at last. Yes, you guessed it, I barked, you bet I did, and I went running after her too. Did he die? Huh? Wait, but how would- Oh my god, this is weird. And then I, I guess I died? And then I was unconscious for a little while. I think the weirdest part is- Oh. When I came to, it was all over. Poor, poor Miss Camilla. Crushed under that big scary lump. Oh, oh, what have I done? I'm so sorry, little lady. Please forgive me. Miss Camilla! <laughs> Miss Camilla! I had to ask you, Miss Camilla. It was up to me. I cried out from the depths of my heart, and then... I can't tell you how surprised I was, but I bet you understand, right? Yeah, better than probably anybody else could. I remember what you did for me, how you saved me, so... You went back, right? Back to four minutes before the little lady's death. I bet I did. Damn, the doll's got powers. Missile, you're a true fucking bro. Yes, my dear. I was so gently nabbed her. Oh, yeah, 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 I've seen this. How did he push that? That's insane. The dog's better than me. <laughs> oh. How did he move it? That's insane. Now's my chance, I thought. I saw the car. I don't know, it looks pretty far. I stretch out my paw toward the car. Oh, how I felt at that moment. i love for you to be able to feel it too. Go ahead, Cecil. Go ahead and try it for yourself. Wait, why is it so long? I can't believe it. How could you connect over there with such a great distance? Well, they don't call me Missile for nothing. <laughs> uh, so you manipulate that Mino thing and you threw it aside, right? Right on top of my head. Well, uh, no, actually. Huh? I can't manipulate things like you can, Sissel. You can? Then how did you... I didn't know what to do. Then I happened to see something out the corner of my eye. He had a car too. Yeah, right there. Did he... A single leaf hanging from a tree. For some reason. That had a car. I tried reaching out to the leaf. Swap? I won the world. I can't manipulate things. But apparently I can swap them. As long as the two things have the same shape, that is. The same shape. Wow, that's a... Uh, that's pretty interesting. Go ahead, try it. Try to swap the button. That's incredible. So, <laughs> that's how you saved your mistress, is it? That's how I became caught up in this, is it? I'm very sorry. My powers were too... Mega? 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 Because you see, I saw one small. Happy to notice one more car. There was the exact same. Sh yeah, but he couldn't reach. Hey, you're right. I mean, it could have been swapped again with that. Then disaster wouldn't have to rain down on my head. Ah, here we go. We got the, we got the game plan set up. Yeah, it's too big to be a leaf. Whatever it is, I prefer it on my head than Mina. I'm pretty sure it's like a beehive. 
though, why didn't you swap him? Could him. I can stretch out my paw a little further than you can, so. It is, that's how big it is. Too far for me, I couldn't reach it. Good try, though. That's how he died. Ooh. That's a bit fucked. <laughs> that's fucked. I must admit, it was a fascinating spectacle of my death. Yeah, you know what I don't get? We rewind back in time. How we're talking to... I guess we're... Alright. Okay, maybe maybe Missile just, like, joined in. He was, like, doing something else. I kept retrying over and over, seeing if there was anything I could do. I bet there's something you can do now. Huh? If we work together, you and me. Sissel, you think so? I don't plan on letting anybody die in front of me today. You think you can help me out? Of course. Naturally. Alright. One minute back before. I hope you could help me there. Help me out there, missile. Damn, I didn't expect the game to go into double. Oh, it's a football. Let's get started. All right, we gotta swap. Four minutes from now, you'll swap. I have to move that ball. That's a rugby ball. That's a. That's a football. That's an American football. Is that a rugby ball? It's shaped as a. All right, touch it. Uh, what? Just this icon. You'll be able to control me. Alright. Alright, okay. With select. I don't know what the select button is, but... Alright, I gotta get the that ball down, so... Ghost. Open the dumpster lid? Anything here? 